Okay, so here we go. We practically want to install games which will be accessible in uh, this section called Ports, which comes from Ports Master. Ports Master is an open source solution to install games which are really comprehensive and uh, they are kind of tested as well by the community and they should be able to run pretty well on uh, handheld devices such as this R36 Mac. Now, before installing games, uh, you need to connect to the internet. And I'm going to use my Wi-Fi dongle, which I'm going to insert it in the OTG port right here. And to enable Wi-Fi, you need to go to the options first. And you see first the Wi-Fi toggle menu. You need to open it and uh, just click the enable Wi-Fi option. Wi-Fi is successfully enabled. And uh, let's see, we we'll go back to the options. Then we have another menu, which is called Wi-Fi. And you should be able to connect to a new Wi-Fi connection. Now the problem I see is that it doesn't see any, any Wi-Fi. Activate existing. Ethernet ETH0. No. Something is wrong here. Change country code. I don't think it really matters that much. Secret service. Why? Oh. It's pretty sketchy, but we should be able to do it. Hmm. Delete existing connection. Yeah, everything. Delete that. I'm really surprised that it doesn't find anything. Should be able to. Let's actually try to restart the device. Uh, no, I think the whole station. Restart system. And then let's see if we are successful or not. Okay, so we go to no. What did I do? So we now need to go to the options, select Wi-Fi toggle, enable the Wi-Fi, then. We go back to the options again, then go to the Wi-Fi. Let's see if we can see anything. Hmm, that's strange. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, I don't know exactly why I have this problem. Now the solution would be, like I showed you before, is to connect directly to the network uh, via an Ethernet adapter. So let's let's do this. Let's be as raw as possible. So I'm going to move right here in the shade. I'm going to remove this one and add this one. Shut down. It consumed a lot of power. Oh my gosh, only problems with these devices, you see? So it's not that easy.
Oh my god. Maybe I broke it. Shit. I think I broke it. But what did I do? I just I just plug this in. I didn't do anything else. Oh guys. Yeah, I think it short circuited itself. Right? That's too bad. Now it's it can be a brick device. I can only just touch the titties and that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm um uh, Yeah, I'm going to stop this video as of now and uh, see if I can charge the device. I have no other options, but it's it, yeah, it's really an adventure with this thing. Yeah, so let's see. Bear down with me, so uh, I'm going to give you an update on this. Okay, I managed to boot it up. Um, so I used the charging port. I charged it a little bit, although it has like half 50% battery. And I'm going to try again to plug my Ethernet adapter, but this time without the Ethernet cable. Let's see if we get the same result mm. so far so good now it's time to plug in uh, my ethernet cable it's a big adventure with these devices isn't it cool now um if we go to the options um how can i see maybe wi-fi oh i can try to yeah, enable Wi-Fi, but I'm not sure if you are able to see the text. So I have Wi-Fi has been successfully enabled, hopefully. But we should also be able to see the network. If it got IP and stuff like that, we should be able to see network info. Wired connection one. It has a gateway. Ah, I think that that's okay. Okie dokie. Um, I would first check if there's any. Let's press the start. Is there any update that I can do to this thing? Like an automatic update. But the thing is that I already downloaded the latest. Uh, RQS, so I'm not sure if it's uh, of any use anymore. Preload UI. Uh, okay, let's try to install one uh, one game. So if we go to uh, options, we have to go to tools and select the port map. Now it's going to start. You will see this uh, animation, and the uh, port master will be ready soon. On first uh, um, time uh, boot, it will download its uh, updates. So you need to be patient with that. Just let me align it mm, so that you can see it properly. I don't know how to do it. Okay. Should be good. So let's see. Featured ports. Ready to run banger. Let's let's try to install what's called what's the name of this one? Globe bar. Your magic tone, blah blah blah. Let's let's install it. Now it should be installing itself. You can see the confirmation message. 
Okay, let's uh, not to settle just for one. Help no break. This one was interesting. I also installed it on the R36S, but uh, I had uh, one uh, problem. It didn't work. Um, although they say they are ready to run, mm, they might be sketchy as well. Okay, then puzzling puzzle. Oh, this one is really nice. Uh, it's called Tiny Crate. I like it, but it becomes really, really hard at some point. But it's a super nice uh, game. What else? Yatka. This is like a Tetris. Port Master Pix. Half Life. Ooh. You can install Half Life as well, but it won't work. So there are games for which you have to like acquire a sort of a license and to get some files. Practically, ports master they don't do um, they don't break uh, the copyright in any way. Um, for some games, they might provide you some uh, shareware uh, um, or a D demo uh, part of the game, but you actually need to figure it out how to buy yourself the game in order to play. And also, this is the Revo. Stardew Valley. Ooh, that's that's nice. I'm going to install this this one as well. But I know this one is a paid game, at least on Steam. I think you have to to buy it. But it's uh, really nice that they have it in uh, on the console itself. They port it. Yeah, I, that's good. I'm also cu curious if this one uh, works in offline mode. So I would uh, like to have some games which work uh, in offline mode. Uh, I mean, my, the majority of them they should be, but I'm not sure about this one since it's also available on Steam. I don't know if um, it's uh, working uh, only on the while you are connected to the internet or not. But let's see. Let's wait for it to download. Sorry, I don't have a faster internet, but I don't think this is a fast device either compared to a laptop or computer. Okay. Then what else? I would like to install Battle of Westna. I did not play that much before, but I know it's a really old game. Uh, I just want to have a strategy game. And this one, which is turn-based, it seems like a really perfect game for me to play while I'm traveling or when I'm uh, in the airplane or who knows, even at work. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, let's wait for it, wait for it. Come on, come on. Hooray, I managed to install Battle of West not successfully. Um yeah, and you if you if you browse the list of the games you can see pretty much an extensive list over here um yeah i would uh, just settle in for this for now and uh, let's quit it and see if we see the game now if you go to ports you should be able to see all the games that you installed let's try to see uh, the uh, Tiny Crate. This one works uh, very well on R36S device. The only problem is that at some point it's really it's really hard. And unfortunately, I I I see it's only working like not full screen. It only in uh, in the sixteen per nine. 
It's actually a super cool game if you are uh, patient and enough. So you just do need to, um, in the level, you need to move and find your way to the uh, exit portal. So there's this character who looks sort of like Trump. And you can, you know, uh, get to more and more and more complex. So in this case, we are having a level more complex and you need to move the crates around with b you need you can move the crates and then you can jump on them and use them in such a way that uh, you uh, reach to that uh, portal so that you can exit the level you see something like that it's actually a really really fun game but um, uh, how can i exit b Let's see on the, another game. Uh, I remember I told you that there's this game called No Break, which doesn't really work. Uh, at least on the R36, um, I didn't manage to play it. Okay. Play. Uh, strange. Yeah, so the problem is that you need to like aim somehow. But you cannot aim in any way. I don't know how. That is the issue in this game. I don't know how to do it. So the, yeah. There are some games which you know you can have all sorts of problems still and also this game doesn't work in full screen mode doesn't take advantage of the bigger screen so it is what it is that's unfortunately it but i think i covered uh, pretty much everything related to um, the games i just want to check one more thing so i i said that i want to play play battle of westman um and i'm really Curious if it runs in full screen mode or just in a, a what did I do? Ah, it's patching something. Okay. Yeah, we need to lay, leave it for now to get patched. Okay, it took a, key, a couple of minutes to get patched. It uh, asks us to press A to start the game. Let's see. Boo, boo. West North. Mm, interesting. Oh, so far so good. I see the game is in the full screen, which I really like. Let's see if I start the gameplay. Let's see if it's uh, maintaining the full screen. Let's play. Yeah, it's full screen. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the fact that it's full screen, yeah. That's super cool, yeah. So I think I will uh, stop uh, doing the video for now because now I have an occupation. So I will play Battle of Westmore. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, really glad that it works on this uh, bigger screen because it works on my R36s, but it has this smaller screen and uh, yeah. I, I really like it. I will uh, I will play it this evening and I will uh, ask you to subscribe to my channel if you find it interesting so far and let me know if you have any ideas of uh, videos to do in the future and uh, uh, yeah let's uh, let's build a uh, nice channel and a nice audience uh, together and see you next time. Thank you so much. Cheers.